Okay, traders, in this video, I will be talking about the trades that you see on screen. I took one break even, which could have well been a loss. And then I took one other trade, this one, which was actually a winning trade. And I'll be covering the daily time frame, the 15 minute time frame, and exactly how my thought pattern was following when I took the entry and when I was managing the trade. So enjoy the video. First off, let's start by removing all the previous drawings that I had from this morning. And let's actually pull up the analysis that I dropped in the Discord this morning. If you're interested in the Discord, it's absolutely free. I drop an analysis on multiple pairs and assets every single morning. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to join. Absolutely free. And the link is in the description. So as you can see, I marked out this this morning. Um, and what I was mainly watching was that fair value gap that we created. We did not really mitigate inside of it yet this morning in London. So that's what I was expecting for New York. I was expecting for New York to actually pull back into that fair value gap um, before either proceeded for more sell side liquidity or we continued for buy side liquidity. And as you can see on the drawing, why I, I thought this was going to happen is because this line right here is basically sell side liquidity that got taken right here. And we also mitigated the fair value gap that was right below it. That's what you also see on the drawing. Logically, if price is going to rebalance, if we think about the ICT concepts, then I presume that price is going to first rebalance this, take some buy side liquidity, or moving now for more sell side liquidity. So that's why my bias was bullish for today. All right, cool. With these levels in mind, let's actually go down to the 15 minute chart and show you what I was thinking. So as you can see, this is what I was presented with this morning. And above here is that fair value gap where I think price is going to go today. Below here is the fair value gap that we actually tapped into. And then this line is the sweep of liquidity that was laying there on the daily chart. So I was assuming if we look at price, I was assuming this right here formed an order block is going to be respected. We had imbalance there. I presumed that this order block was going to be respected and that no candles from the 15 minute would be closing below that. And that's why I was looking to take longs in this area, which inevitably becomes a discounted area. So let's actually jump down to the one minute. And I notice that I still have my entries on here. Let's actually remove them and show you exactly how I determined my target and my entries. So as you can see, New York just opened and we immediately get presented with a strong move up. What I immediately noticed is that we had a fair value gap open that we did not mitigate into yet. So I was some sort of expecting for price to either come back here or for price to create a new fair value gap, which we are likely doing now and mitigate that and then continue on higher. And as you can see, we now have two very big fair value gaps. I'll mark it out as one big one. And what I actually did now is put a limit order right here and I was going to cover this low. And as for the target, initial plan was to target that fair value gap. Why? We were in a discounted zone. Price had its pullback and now I was thinking we could go straight for that fair value gap. And let's see what actually happened. So right here, we actually got tagged into the trade and price was showing some clean motion to the upside. But then eventually um, I noticed that price was probably not quite ready. And I will show you why I decided to go break even here. We quickly go over what I was seeing. So first of all, I had in mind that we price could return lower and we had a fair value gap right here. Now, what I really didn't want to see is price break below of this order block. So what I did is I managed my stop to the bottom of this order block. So I put my stop loss. Actually, just this fair value gap was not the main reason for me to actually be thinking that price was perhaps going to continue lower and provide me a better entry. No, the main reason could actually be found on the five minutes. So let's jump to the five minutes. So what do we see on the five minutes? We actually see that we have a really nice fair value gap there right here. And we didn't actually mitigate into that yet. And of course, the higher time frame is key and is always in there for that matter. So what I was expecting is for price to actually likely return into this, provide me a better entry opportunity and then shoot off. And I don't simply take these trades on the five minute chart. No, I always like confirmation on the one minute. So what I was actually looking for is price to actually go lower, sweep some sort of low before then shooting back up, providing me with another fair value gap on the one minute that will show you in a second. And for me to then enter off of a confirmation entry. So that would mean I would enter off of a fair value gap from a higher time frame, but on a lower time frame. So let's actually see if moving my stop was a good idea or not. So right here I got stopped out and then price decided to fill up that fair value gap, but we did not get that confirmation entry. No, we actually went to that lower fair value gap here on the one minute. So right now I was actually looking for a possible re-entry 
But then price decided that we had to sweep this low once more. And if you think about it, it's quite logical and it's something you see happening quite a bit often because New York didn't actually sweep any sell side liquidity just yet. So what we did here right now is actually sweep that sell side liquidity. And if I was right about my bias, then we shouldn't be pulling down much further and we should actually see a quite decent reaction in just a moment. So let's actually move this fair value gap out of the way. That basically covers my break even trade from today. And let's now look for the entry that I took for the second entry and the winning trade. So as you can see, we have a quite mo nice move up here. I consider this as a strong pullback, but this was my market strategy. There we go. So what I did is I smacked on a long position right here. I wanted to cover the low, just the low of this small order block that we had. And my target initially was once again, and this is for 6R, and was actually that fair value gap on the daily chart. So at this point, I was basically thinking, okay, price might actually shoot up without me, but that's not a problem. I wasn't in the mood of chasing price. Um, and what I started noticing here is, and that's why I left my order on, is that we were actually starting to form some sort of liquidity below here. So what I was thinking is that price was just trying to trap people into going long and that we could likely see a move that looked something like this. So a move that looked something like this, which is basically price ranging then taking out and faking out all of, the, all of those breakout traders before then sweeping the liquidity, filling our position and continuing. That was basically the play that I was going for, but that's not what we actually got. What we got was something far more interesting. So as you can see, at this point, we got filled and price started rocketing up. And at this point, I also decided that I was going to be taking 50% off of my position right here just to secure some partials. And what I also noticed is that price came actually back for that fair value gap filled it and then price actually came down quite heavily once again which was actually showing me a tendency of price probably returning to here once more um, because what we can see here is that we had relative equal highs then we had some pretty rangy price action going on so what was I, what i was thinking is that we have two possibilities here right so either price is going to cleanly deliver us to this 50 percent target and possibly return to take the sell side liquidity of these relative equal lows or we are going to be targeting the lows right here tap into that fair value gap before then shooting up so this would basically be manipulation and then we would see some sort of distribution down and that's why i didn't intend of going break even just because we had that fair value gap left here on the bottom let me actually move this out of the way and draw it out more clearly so if we look closely this is actually the fair value gap that we have left Okay, so um, let's actually leave these boxes here for a second. As you can see, and this is also, I, I love seeing this, right? Because I actually started trading and I started looking at bull flags. They were like my, my go-to stuff. I used to be into trading stocks first. I noticed that a lot of stock traders actually love bull flags, right? They usually jump in when they see high volume to one side of the market. So in this case, bullish volume going up and they take a re-entry as soon as the high of a pullback candle is broken. So a lot of people would actually be taking entries here. And what would they be covering? The low of that pullback candle and they would target some sort of high. And when I noticed that, that actually just confirmed me that this was in fact manipulation and the, that we would probably see price taking out these lows, stepping into that fair value gap and then moving back up. And as we can see, right after taking out this bit of sell side liquidity and tapping into that fair value gap, which we greatly respected, we then indeed had our distribution leg and now price was ready to first off take me to my 50% profit target and then price basically had a clean delivery up and as soon as we approached these levels I decided to call it a day that it had been quite a long day and I was actually satisfied with my profits and as you can see that's where I took the full possession of and for the people who weren't tired of the day just yet you could have waited allowed price to breed and pull back for a second I'm anticipating that we would probably fill that, which we eventually did. If I were to be in such a position, I would probably not have the guts to stay in this trade and accept this much drawdown. Um, to add to that, if you were in a my forex fund trade and entered a bit higher and were targeting a 6R trade, for example, if you had this drawdown and you had a loss beforehand, this could well mean that you actually blow your challenge or your account or whatever you're doing. So that's why I decided to close full near these relative equal highs right here. We then saw that pullback and after that price indeed took its true turn again. 
its true direction and delivered us to that fair value gap on the daily chart. I know this video takes a bit longer than the other recaps I did, but I just thought that there was some very valuable price action in here. We really see the ICT concepts playing out here. In the chat this morning, I, I looked at gold and I immediately saw the signature of the algo. Also called it out in the, in the chat in Discord. If I see the signature, I probably won't be looking at anything else. Um, I will be looking at that specific pair or indice or asset and I will take trades from that, capitalize on that and that's exactly what I did here today. That's why I was really comfortable taking that re-entry after this break-even trade and today turned out to be an amazing day. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or you could join the Discord and ask me there. If you enjoyed this content, I would appreciate a like. If you want to see more videos like this, you could always do a subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.